Gemini, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do a reading for you for the second week of January, the 8th through the 14th. I'm actually going uh, against my typical weekly read because I'm doubling down. If you're curious about more of my full length reads, check out the January read or your annual read or the first week of January read. Today we're going to do it short and sweetly. All right. I hope you enjoyed the messages. We're not going to clarify. Just wanted to pop in. All right. Stay consistently here on YouTube, bringing in the weekly guidance. Thank you for tuning in and sharing this space with me today. I hope you all are doing well. And thank you, Spirit, for your guidance, for presiding over the readings. Ah, the wheel wanted to pop out. Look at that, Gemini. You are taking control, taking control, letting, letting, I feel like it's a good combo of I'm letting Spirit guide me, but I also am making the right decisions for myself. Coming out of a feeling of perhaps blocking, blocking the, 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 the joy and the enthusiasm, the desire, right? There's something really coming alive within you, Gemini. I think you're feeling more attractive, more embodying more confidence this week. It's like you're, you're changing on the inside and that's being reflected outside. Like you're radiating this beautiful goddess-like energy. Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, the Empress. Yeah, I think you're starting to realize, sorry, my nose is itchy. You're starting to realize that as you put yourself first and you take care of your body, mind, spirit, you're you're really being discerning and you're you're making choices to come out of any... Listen, I do believe, and I've caught this a lot in your readings in 2023, where you were very self-critical. Almost like that, that voice inside your head was not kind to you, right? You would pick yourself apart mentally. And so I do believe that you've been conquering that lately. You feel better about your body. You feel better about your spirit. You feel better about your life. And you're not going to, you're not going to hold yourself in or back because of that voice. Like you're, you're actually harnessing more love and nurturing toward yourself because you're recognizing the ways that you have limited yourself based on what is going on here. So as you, as you really start to pay more attention to the thoughts going through your mind, you're coming out of this mental anguish that I think you've, it's like you're changing the way you've operated, Gemini. This is a real deep shift. Yeah, the moon, temperance. In the Six of Cups, yeah. There is something implanted in you at a young age around how you view yourself and your self-worth. And there's some major shift going on inside of you this week around this deep, deep healing in your own feeling of magic and wonder about the energy you carry inside. It's almost like, I really, I got this image of, you know, when you clean a window pane and once it's clean, you can see things differently. It's like you've been doing the work to clean the window pane in your mind. So you're actually looking in the mirror and you're loving who you see, not just on the outside, primarily inside, because we are a reflection of what goes in, on in here. So I do believe this week you're stepping up into a beautiful radiance because you're experiencing self-love and self-acceptance in such a profound way. It's being noticed by all the people around you. There's this depth coming forward in this balance and self, right? And it's almost reconnecting you to this, the child within. It's almost, and it's very profound when we do this work where I literally, the day I covered my heart and I, I imagined myself as a little girl, like the, the little girl inside that got hurt, right? That felt not worthy of love. And I put, and I just said, I love you so much. And I just started crying. I don't know what compelled me to do it. It just was an out of the blue thing. And that's what I mean by this work. You're like, you're healing the parts of yourself that felt less whole, that felt broken. And it's it's like you're you're really making extraordinary strides in your own healing work. Wow. All right. Beautiful, beautiful empowerment, radiance. Beautiful. Wow, Gemini. Gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Yep. And this is your stability, right? This is your grounded foundation, the first chakra. This is your relationship. I was actually focusing more on a lot of the signs on the external relationship, but I think this is about your relationship with yourself. It really is. 
The energy of the root chakra supports our sense of safety in a physical world and reminds us to enjoy our physical bodies. Yeah, I mentioned that. You're, you're really enjoying being in your body more than you ever have. Whatever struggles that you face from childhood, you're now accepting yourself in bodily form. Oh, beautiful, beautiful energy, Gemini, for the week. All right, what is the gentle reminder? Sometimes you need to tune inward before being able to radiate outward. Exactly, I love you, spirit. Couldn't have said it better. That's what I've been trying to convey with the tarot. Sometimes you do, you need to tune inward and you've been doing that so beautifully. So beautifully, Gemini. Oh, I'm so excited for you. All right. What is the spiritual guidance, your spiritual work for the week ahead? All right. Deep inner release is a spiritual path in and of itself. It is the path of non-resistance, the path of acceptance, the path of surrender. Yes, Gemini. You guys are doing it so beautifully, so beautifully. Anyone who's watching this, Crosswatcher, anyone who knows a Gemini, give them a big hug this week and tell them that they are so beautiful. And you Geminis out there, you love yourself hard this week, okay? It is beautiful, beautiful energy that you're carrying. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.